And now to Perth, where residents are seemingly not sure whether to laugh or cry over a website telling the world they live in a dull and deserted place. The site describes Perth as boring, with a foreshore visited only by joggers and seagulls. To refute those ghastly suggestions, we're joined by longtime resident and comedian John Doust. John, good morning. Hi, good morning, Tracy. Are Perth people upset about this? They're very upset. Uh, we've been down here with the crews since uh, four o'clock and people are just going by distraught and some people are crying. <laughs> we've, had, uh, we've had to attend to a couple of them ourselves. <laughs> you have, have you? A little yeah. bit of therapy for them. A lot of therapy, a lot of uh, hugging, a lot of holding, a lot of wiping. <laughs> has, has this website had much, it, these words on this website have really had much impact in Perth though? I mean, because I guess people can get a little protective about their city, can't they? Very protective and we are so far, you know, from another city. We're a long way from another city, so we're very, very precious about our city. And just to, to, to uh, help you realise how far this thing has gone, we have a Premier here, you know. We have someone in charge. Uh, a nice young man, uh, uh, Richard uh, Court, a nice young man. He has built a big bell tower to, uh, to give us some life. And I said to him, I said, Dick, I said, look, uh, bells, that's an Adelaide thing. And I think this is just synonymous of how far we've gone. We, uh, many of us feel we are so boring, we think Adelaide is exciting. <laughs> the website has suggested that uh, the city's not vibrant enough, that it's boring in the centre of town. You get a lot of tourists there, don't, though, don't you? I mean, do they go there wanting a vibrant, excited city, or do they want to have a holiday? N no, they just want cappuccinos <laughs> and uh, focaccias and the bruschetta. They want all that. They don't, they don't go. I, I haven't seen any. This, uh, Tracy, is peak hour. Look, there's no... Where are all the people, John? There's, they're not here. They're too afraid to come out today. They don't want to be upset with the tears and the crying. They're too upset. Perth is a very nice city. It's a nice place to bring up children, and it's very clean. Uh, you know, in the Middle East, they have helicopter gunships. Here we have helicopter brushing ships. Every morning they have helicopters come over with men and long brushes and they scrub the city clean. <laughs> well, you just can't be too clean, really, can you? No, you just can't be too clean. And uh, we have uh, pest control uh, officials uh, who kill everything. We have no spiders and no ants. Nothing that's going to irritate or upset anybody. And I don't know if you know, Tracy, but uh, in summer here, you know, uh, you can, uh, people only laugh when it's cold. And uh, in summer here, all the comedians in Perth go into hibernation. <laughs> You've just been to uh, Europe and the Middle East. What do those places have that Perth doesn't have? Oh, a lot of very exciting things. They have uh, a, a lot... <laughs> they, uh, they don't just worry about insects there. They're killing people. <laughs> here, we're just killing in insects and animals and things. Uh, but, uh, and you know, in summer, uh, when you want a comedian, they're all working for pest controllers. That's what they do in summer, the comedians. Okay, well there are no pests and it's nice and clean and, and uh, clearly it's not so boring. Thank you very much for being with us, John. Okay, bye. John Dust, more of today after the break.